Well, we're talking about being professional. You're down at the Sandringham Dragons, who seem to have like five or six draftees at least every season. Yeah. Um, was there any players that you played with last year that have played AFL, or is there any players that you're playing with this year that you're like, geez, they're going to be absolute superstars? Yeah, both. Well, last year that Dragons had 12 drafted. 12, wow. if yeah, you don't which, mind. Wow. Yeah, which I think was the record. So there were a lot there. There was so, like Finn Callahan went pick yeah. three, um, Campbell Chesser. Josh Sin, um, Blake Howes, like there were so many, yep. both Machito and uh, Marcus Winhager at the Saints and them. So I learned a lot off there and they were really successful last year. Um, we were meant to play finals and hopefully win a flag, which is a bit annoying because COVID <laughs> shut that down. <laughs> and then this year playing with like Will, who's obviously so professional and he's probably going to go pick one or so early in the draft. And then there's a few others who have shut up the ranks early this year. So, yeah, we're pretty good. And I think it's just the resources we have at Dragons. Mm. When you see um, some of these blokes you're playing with, the dozen or so that got drafted, and then you see some of the superstars that are already dominating the landscape, like yeah. a Nick Dacos or whatever, so early in their career, does that give you a bit of hope that you can stroll in next year and straight away have an impact at this top level? Yeah, I think so. I just try and learn as much as I can from them. Like people say I play similar to Joshua Shelley, so just to see how he transitioned into the AFL so smoothly is something I, I, I'm, aim, I'm aiming to do next year. Absolutely. Yeah. How have you enjoyed the, the rep footy this season? So obviously you get to play for Vic Metro. Yeah. Um, huge games. There's like TV cover it. There's so many selectors going to watch it. So how do you go approaching those sort of games? Yeah, it's pretty surreal. Like playing on Fox footy, you go home and like yeah. watch the replay. Like, like, <laughs> get KO back yeah, up and just... Yeah, <laughs> you can't believe it. Like, <laughs> so yeah, I just like take that all in and we have a really good um, team at Vic Metro. We haven't lost yet. And we have the grand final basically coming up on... During grand 20th, final week. Yeah. yeah Thursday crazy. afternoon at Marvel, which will be amazing. And yeah, I just love it. Like I'm pretty close with the boys from different regions, like the Oakley boys and all the other um, teams in the NAB League. And yeah, so we have a pretty special relationship there, um, which is kind of rare because we're all from different places. Mm. So yeah, I'm loving it. Have you started talking to potential suitors yet? Potential clubs you might be drafted to next year? Are there any preliminary discussions going on? It's probably not like so specific, like, oh, they're looking at taking me at certain pick, but like you have your interviews with each club. So they get to know you from like a personal level and some with your like family as well. Um, So yeah, I've had not all the clubs, but most of the clubs now, but yeah, nothing specific saying that they're like really interested. Do you have a, I guess it's a little bit hard because it's a lottery, but do you have a preference of where you would like to go? Is going into state something that you're quite comfortable with or is that something you're coming to terms with? Yeah, I'm coming to terms with it. Like you never get a choice where you go and I just want to play footy. Um, Mm. I'd like love to play anywhere. Like Melbourne would be good, but also interstate I'd I'd go anywhere. And like the more I speak to clubs, the more I realise how well they look after their players and set them up. Mm. Um, at interstate like housing and that so yeah have those there. clubs hit you with any sort of left field questions you weren't quite expecting that really rocked you there's a few every now and then that you just have to like sit back and like <laughs> take like a like once I took like 30 seconds like geez like, I don't know what I'm gonna say but then I finally got it out but yeah you get used to it yeah you do absolutely so myself and Connor are looking at the ladder at the moment his blues uh, fighting their heart out to make finals <laughs> everyone's predicting them to go to ninth my D's who are coasting at 10 and 0, might yeah. miss out on the top five. Are you looking at the ladder at the minute going, geez, if I'm potentially landing here and some of the teams, like, yeah. for instance, you're a big Hawthorne supporter. Yeah. Are you sort of hoping that they drop a couple to get more into the region where you'll get drafted? Um, well, I'm not sure if I'm that high, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we are. Like, you may not be. <laughs> we are. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I'm definitely looking at the ladder and seeing, but so much can change with, like the trade period, but yeah. The Hawks would be great to end up at. If the Hawks don't drop a couple games, would you be considering dipping your form slightly, <laughs> going a bit sort of Melbourne Brock McLean though when you started to tank a bit? Bit of a tank, yeah. yeah. just so then you can find yourself a little bit later in the draft and potentially nah. find your way to the Hawthorne? <laughs> nah, I'd go anywhere. What was it like growing up supporting Hawthorne, watching all that success? Obviously, we're, I'm a Carlton supporter, Melbourne supporter, Kate, yeah. and we saw no success growing up. Yeah. What was it growing up as a football supporter, seeing just flag after flag? Yeah, I kind of like lost appreciation for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, another, oh, we have to go again in, yeah. in September. Oh, I can't book a holiday in September yeah. again. <laughs> nah, I loved it. Like I have so many great memories from like grand finals and like we used to do grand final breakfasts breakfast before the game and with like our cousins and that. So yeah, great memories come from like the Hawthorne flags. Was there any specific sort of memories or any uh, any player in particular that you absolutely frothed watching? Buddy. Buddy. The Budwa. Yeah. 
There's a picture of you having a kick with him, isn't there? Yeah. Floating around. Yeah, we went to Waverley one day, the family, and got a few photos with the players like Sam Mitchell as well. Superstars. Um, yeah, so that was pretty cool. And yeah, buddy, I just think he's the GOAT. Just what he can do, I don't think anyone else can. I yeah, think he is crazy. quite comfortably just about the greatest of all time. But yeah. uh, he's actually not the Budwa that we seem to be fascinated to hear. Our boy is Connor Butterick, who's an absolute... Mm. That's, oh, a, yeah. that's a Budwa. Yeah, yeah that's he's, a, he's a real goat. That's a real <laughs> Budwa. But uh, you are you have got a couple spares this morning, which is why you're coming in talking to us. Very lucky. Yeah. Um, but later on, you have got school. I'm curious about what school is like for a prospective AFL footballer. Uh, becoming You'd somewhat, have a few friends. Yeah. Have you become somewhat <laughs> of a rock star and you've kind of seen maybe a bit... A few potential leeches popping up on the skin here and there. Yeah, so we, our school, I'm, I'm in a Jewish school. Right. Um, and there's like, it's from year four to year 12 there. And then so a few like the primary kids like on the oval, they're coming up to me like the other day. I had, like, <laughs> 50 kids like just like f- surrounding me. And there's, yeah, I love it. It's pretty like you got to get around the kids. Like they love it as well. So you got to give back. Mm, yeah, for sure. What sort of classes are you doing this year? Yeah, so I'm, doing, I'm only doing three. Thank, like thank the, the school let me do three. Um, which like takes a bit of load off. Nice. Yep. So I'm doing English further, and then at my school you have to do religion and society. Yep. So yeah, I'm doing that. And how are you faring with that balance in the school life and also the the AFL hopefully life, the the uh, professional athlete lifestyle? Is that easy yeah. for you, or is it a bit challenging? Um, I think I've gotten better at it. Like I just must, I try and just um, keep the routine that I have with footy, like train as hard as I can, and then whenever I do have the time, I do everything I can like for school. Um, and just do as much as I can, like with work. Yeah, absolutely. But it is hard to juggle. Oh yeah, it would be. Um, something that myself and Connor are really interested in regarding school is the canteen. Mm. Is there a go-to sort of food from the canteen that you love? I'm not much of a canteen type. No, I couldn't imagine no. that. I couldn't have that. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm pretty prepared with my lunch, but yeah, a few of my mates are all over it. They all go for like. These like cheese Danish things, aren't they? They oh, love da- it. Cheese Danish? Yeah, they like rave around. You wouldn't have got that out at Torquay High or whatever uh, school you went to. <laughs> Torquay High. Over on high school. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pat Dangerfield went there. Great school. Uh, <laughs> no, what do, what do I go? So we had like a really stock standard canteen in the first couple of years. Mm. Then in like year seven or eight, they went like a healthy canteen. So right. I went from yeah. like pies, you, sausage you would rolls. You very, very oh, upset. I was few, I was that's, <laughs> that's, what, that's what ours, ours have done, yeah. So now right. we've got like, oh, we had, we've got like, <laughs> that was eight years ago, McDonald's. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had like, we got like wraps and uh, like chili, chili chicken yeah. wraps and, and whatnot. But I was always a pie man, but I'm not a <laughs> shepherd's pie man. And I once, because I used to get canteen every Friday, I yep. once waited all week. Got through recess, got through lunch, first at the canteen, paid for my pie, found out it was shepherd's pie, and it just threw me off. Had two bites, I was shattered. Um, you don't like the mash on the pie? Well, it just wasn't what I was waiting my whole week for. I was absolutely gutted. I'll tell you what I noticed at canteen, the difference from year seven to year 12, that was my first, when I first really noticed inflation. Because <laughs> I remember when I used to used to go there, a sausage roll in year seven was two fifty. By the time I left, it was four eighty. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, no, it was... It was <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Uh, canteen chat. 